How do you pick up spares? Spares is a big part of bowling. Not only helps your game complete your game, but also helps you score a higher score and make your game consistent. By approaching in spares, you're playing off your strike shot. Your strike ball is going to dictate where you adjust to and how you adjust for your spares. There are a few methods. There is a 369 method where you move either left or right three, six, or nine boards to combat whatever, whatever spare is left up. Uh, for instance, if you have a 10 pin or a 7 pin, you're going to be moving in the opposite direction off your strike shot. Moving three boards, six boards, or nine boards creates an angle of entry in order to make that certain spare. When you're making your spares, you have to not only align yourself, but there's also a visual. You have to align your pin, your arrow, and your targets all in line, and your body has to be perpendicular to those, those spares. When you're approaching a spare, it's, it's imperative that you not only create the right angle, but you also have some techniques that you can use to combat whatever spare you have left up. You have a straight approach, you have a hook approach, you can actually hook the ball to get a spare, you can throw the ball straight. You can also use a different ball and a different type of ball. So there's different methods to combat and to make that spare. There are many different spare combinations. You have a single pin spare, you have a cluster spare, and you also have different angles in order to make those spares. It's all, it's all playing off your strike shot. But for instance, for this kind of spare, you're going for a six pin, you're gonna play off your strike shot. It's not far from your 10 pin alignment, but you're also going to start from your strike position. So for this kind of spare, you're gonna move six boards left off your strike shot and angle your body to the pin in order to make it. Off my strike shot, I've moved six boards left. My hips and shoulders are facing the pin itself, and I'm aligning the pin through the arrows to the dots. When I'm approaching the lane, I'm looking solely at either the dot or the arrow area in order to make that spare. That technique was more a, a less of a hook, more direct, straight approach. You can hook the ball at certain spares, but it's recommended to go direct straight at those spares. And those are some methods and techniques in making your spares. Mm -hmm.